so we're gonna go ahead and get started so the very first thing I'm going to do is we're going to start with a blank canvas so today I'm going to be making um, an example of a post that is going to be encouraging the audience to join a community so what I'm going to do is use the Facebook post but there are plenty of different template sizes so you're going to start with a blank size right and so they have templates you can use them you can just change the wording they have elements where you could add phones you can add candy if you wanted to they have uploads from your phone they have the text they have photos that are going to be from canva that's where you're going to find all of your backgrounds um they have styles that for different words videos backgrounds logos um, and your or your company logo. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start in photos This is the going to be the place where you find every background So if you wanted an orange shoe, you're going to type in orange shoe In photos you don't type it in background background is pretty dry But um, so I went ahead and typed in pink iPhone to get this uh, Background that I'm going to use but I'm actually not even going to use the first one that I clicked on I'm going to end up using the second one so the very first thing um, that I want you guys to know is that we are going to be making a, um, a Facebook post for the call to action of joining a community. So this is going to be very clean, very concise. And as you watch this, you should be able to follow what's happening, the trial and error um, of how I got to the end of this process. So what, what are you gonna do is click on elements and I'm going to click, I'm going to type in circle. Once you click on elements, you could type in square, triangle, heart, anything that you type in, it's going to come up. Like I said, iPhones, candy, um, if you wanted to type nails, like literally anything that you want, you're going to type it in elements. Those are going to be the things that you add on to the background of the photos. So um, I went ahead and played with the colors here. I'm going to choose a lighter color. I went ahead and played with the fonts as well. Um, so the very first thing when you're making these, just don't worry about the font um, immediately. Just go ahead and type out your words. Um, what I end up using that said join our community with Brightwall. But what I'll go ahead and do is I will link all of the fonts that I used in the description box down below. My computer was having a slight issue, but there are lots of fonts and you'll be able to see them as you continue to watch this video. So um, as you continue to go ahead and watch this, I want to talk to you about what your post should do. Um, or what your post should be communicating. So this is just a size for a Facebook post, but literally you could put this on Instagram, you can put it on Twitter, you can put it wherever you wanna put it. But there are some key things about what should be happening and when you are creating a post for your audience. So there are going to be six things that I wanna share with you that should be in your post. So the very first thing is what is the call to action so the call to action should be and should be clear and along with the benefit and the first call to action is going to be join our community that's what we want we want people to join the community it is so important that your call to action is clear when you're making these posts because otherwise your audience will do nothing when they see it I've seen that several times and I've made that mistake before. You know, it's one thing to have really good content and it looks really pretty and it looks really nice. But what is it that you want them to do? And then we are going to talk about the benefits. But even when describing the call to action, um, the call to action should be in a font that is going to catch people's eye it should be in a font that your audience can relate to and that your audience likes for example people who are in professional groups like this could be for a women ministry for example this is something that will appeal very likely to a women's ministry this font is something that would appeal to um um softer women or um a feminine side this is what this font kind of caters to so this is a perfect font for that type of business you wouldn't use a really bold font um with really fat letters here because that doesn't work so your font is definitely going to be communicating along with the call to action so here now what i'm going to be typing in is the benefit so i'm going to let you know right now that i'm not using that line um, it was just a real trial and error. I really wanted to because I like lines and circles, but it didn't work. So what's included um, 
it's going to just say a few things like 24 hour access, unlimited resources, um, job placement. It's going to say a few things, but you just want to make sure that you highlight the most key benefits of the call to action that you want your audience to participate in. So you say you want them to shop with us. So like you see where it says join our community, you could put shop with us. Why? 50% off today only or um, the clothing is made with only, you know, sheep skin or we don't use animals or if you buy these clothes, they're going to do this or they're going to do that. Whatever it is, whatever type of business that you have, you need to describe clearly, concisely and quickly what it is that's going to benefit them if they go shop with you or if they um, purchase your product or if they join your community. Because if they don't, they won't know what they're doing and then it'll just look like, well, why am I joining your community? Because some people don't have the time or don't want to go find out, oh, what your Instagram or your Facebook page look like or how pretty your aesthetic is. You need to be clear when you're trying to call people to do something because another thing is that people who may not follow you will find your posts as well. And that's why you use hashtags on Facebook and hashtags on Instagram. So when these photos come up and these people aren't following you and they say, oh, this sounds like something I would like, then I'm going to go to their website or then I'm going to click on the link in their post and then I'm going to go find out what everything is about right there. So that's going to be um, the second thing. Now, do you see the, this is going to also be a part of the, the benefit, but this is going to be the discount. And this is going to be a very important key to uh, make bold for your audience to see. Now, you want them to join your community. This is a call to action. The benefits of what's included, the limited access to free books, the 24-hour support, the guaranteed resume editing, the job placement, these are benefits. But to go even further, to promote an action, we're gonna go ahead and offer you 50% off of that regular price. So now this is like, okay, this is something really good. And when anybody sees 50% off, that's half off of the regular price. So this is going to capture your audience's eye even more. Now, once again, you're going to want to choose fonts that are going to be in line with the type of audience that you have. Once again, the 50% off is important. So that could be in bold letters, but watch of the bold letters that I choose and the color that I choose them. Because see, if I would have chosen a color like red or orange on a font like on a page like this, this would have been very offensive and it would have been out of place. But with the coloring that I use in the, um, the other fonts that I use with this exclusiveness, it makes it match. So when you see 50% off, it'll say, okay. And it's not in a really scary forcey way. So you just want to gonna make sure that everything that you're communicating, the most important things are clear, are bold, and people are able to read and see. That is what you want to do. So another thing that um, I actually didn't include on here that you're gonna wanna include is um, how long will this last? So right where it said 50% off, um, under 50% off, you honestly could have put um, this, this would be this weekend only, or, um, you know, today only for three hours only tomorrow only. Um, you can also put those things in the captions, but you know, you're going to want to put those things on the photos too, because this is things that people see. And I can't count on my hand how many times, like I've seen things on Instagram or Facebook that I a, didn't have the money for, or be the time to go just sit around and look. So I screenshotted it. So these things are important but you want to show for how long it should be. So that's something that should be very clearly inside of the post as well. So people can know how long they have to act on this offer. Um, the other thing you're going to want to include is your website information. So I did put that right now. So I believe I put the bossbusiness.com, which isn't a real website. If it is somebody real website, I apologize. I literally just made this up, but the boss business, it's right there. So you're going to want to make sure you put that there for people to see too, just in case they don't click on your link. They don't read your whole caption on Instagram. They don't read your whole caption on Facebook. They can say, oh, this is the bossbusiness.com. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to this website. Another thing you're also going to want to include is going to be your logo. Your logo should be present everywhere in everything that you do so people know that it's you and so other people can't steal your stuff but people should definitely be able to identify okay this is the culture of business okay this is the boss of business I know it by its logo so you're gonna want to make sure those things are included I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope it was helpful go ahead and subscribe 
to this channel you can go ahead and like you can go ahead and comment if you want to see some other type um, of videos but I'm gonna go ahead and also upload a second type of video um, in comparison to this one because this is just to show a really quick um, how to make a simple and plain Canva post um, or ad post like this is something very quick and simple that you can do it took me literally only 11 minutes so you can also do it too you don't have to hire a graphic designer but I just want to show you all the options that you do have. This is something so simple, but I do have other things that I can show you that'll be helpful. So I hope you have a good day. I hope you like this look. And if you like it, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. All right, bye.